Hi Max, this is Hill, and we are here today to discuss, uh, go over a couple of concerns that you're gonna have with your payrolls, about your human resources, about the problems that you, some of the questions you're asking me from previous discussions is about your part-time faculties and the situation in Swenson. We're gonna go over things today, but first I just wanted to let, to let you know that you know I really wanted to be feel fair throughout this conversations. Firstly, I'm gonna go through your situation step by step and anything that you're feeling that you don't understand, just let me know because I really want to be, I want you to be, I want you to be feel safe, feel fair throughout these conversations. And just let me know and we're gonna go through back with you together. So everything's I've started to you. That's good, right? So the first is about the situations that you're gonna have. Uh, first, you know, the University of State of Angersals, USA, uh, is a private and non-profit organization, right? And is we have like four directors or four founders, and they all experience wedgers. And the main program that you discuss with me with AA, with USA is that the online programming for applying science for winning. And all of the directors are treated, like you said with me, is $250,000 of compensation per year, plus some uh, fees when it comes to meeting, correct? Gotcha. So the next thing is that in terms of leadership roles, you guys are gonna rotate it annually. And speaking about Swenson's, he's actually a chairman for six years from 2000 to, from 2000 to 2020s. And to clarify a little bit over here, is that the responsibility of the directors is just provide vision about, uh, provide the board, the, the board oversight. And when it comes to an officer, an officer is gonna be the one who's gonna be in charge of the day-to-day -day basis problem with when it comes to operating it as USA. Sounds good? Everything sounds good, well. And right now you're telling me that you currently is a chancellor since 2015 and you're telling me that your office officers and full times are treated as employees however when it comes to part timings those who are part timings you treat it as an independence and the next thing is that you have one question over here because when irs audit your payrolls in 2020 in 2021 swanson is currently your chairman in 2020 He's the IRS question about the five thousand dollars you pay him as a compensation for introductory courses. You wanted to let you want to ask me that whether or not Ken Swanson can be both independent contractors and employees at the same time. So the two main key things questions that you're gonna have over the situation that we over well, I've already I've already gone through is that first is. Is it suppose your employees, your part-time, your part-time faculties is employees? What is information that you, that you, that do you need to provide to me to support that conclusions? And the second thing is that Ken Swenson can be both role at the same years, 2020. So we're going to go through step by step. First, about your part-time employees. I want to let, I want to let you know that employees is the one that not just objects. Okay, so we gotta clarify a little bit about the employees and independent contractors. When it comes to independent contractors based on the cult or based on the law, it's telling you that if you just seriously and taking care of, you really want to care only about the end result. I'm talking about um, the right, I'm sorry, I'm talking about doctors, uh, lawyers, or anything that you can outsource, outsize, However, when it comes to part-time faculties, I have a couple of considerations that I really want to discuss with you. First, how do you define part-time employees? I'm sorry, faculties. How do you for, define um, part-time faculties? Do you gonna pay them by hours or are you gonna pay them by projects? How do you expect, how many, how many, how much do you expect them to contribute? It? Um, anything related to tools or his or her teaching method, who's gonna in charge though? Do our schools gonna in charge though or do they gonna handle all of the things? And when it comes to the problems, when it comes to loss and when it comes to productions, 
do they suffer the loss or us suffer the loss? Because I, I, I don't know exactly how do you define a part-time faculties when it comes to our university. But from my perspective, if they are the ones that you guys not just only taking care of the, the end result, but about you really want to take care about the way that they going to teach our that teach our college students uh, how they're going to have the method, the blueprint, and you're going to support them to tailor the teaching method that, as if they are part, uh, as part of the USA, as part of it's just like the way you treated them the way it's just like full-time faculties. So could you clarify that for me? Because if that is exactly what the part-time faculty that you guys aiming at, I think it's going to be employees. Okay, so the second questions that you're going to have, I know that you have a concern about suspension situation because IRS is coming to your audit. Um, I just wanted to say, don't worry about that because here's the things. Even though there's a lot of people that we all know that if you classify uh, one person in the wrong place, you're going to receive an IRS, IRS rest flag, right? But in our case, this one is a little bit different because we got to understand about the roles IRS have stated and I have read a very similar cases and what I find out is that you know if we can show to them that the remunerations I mean the wages and the duties are separate if they are separate I mean it's interrelated is this not have any kind of connection to each others yes that person can be you know can be two roles at the same in the same years. What I'm, I'm giving you an example. In our situation with Swenson, he's actually a professor for introductory course. Um, he's actually the one who handled those costs, is that correct? Okay, another role is that he's actually a director who's gonna handling and providing the visions for uh, USA in 2020. Is that correct? So based on that situations, they are, those positions, first, we're going to talking about the, the wages. The compensation is separate. Will you agree with me? The compensation is separate. The second thing is that the duties between two jobs is not relevant. About, it's, not about, it's about characteristics and it's about the audience. Anything is separate. So in our case, I can fairly confidence to say to you that based on the situation that we, that we already discussed, Swanson's can be both independent contractors and he can be also an employees in 2020. So don't worry about that. So any kind of questions that you have left for me? Everything sounds good, right? Okay. So uh, if there's no further questions, I'm here and just let even have further information, just send me an email. Uh, we're going to have another, another discussion together. Sounds good? Okay. Nice to see you. Bye-bye.